Welcome back guys, I believe you are doing heartily well. Let me start this video by stating that there is nothing hidden under the surface of the earth that will not be revealed on a special day. No matter what it takes, it may take time, but on a very good day it will be exposed and when it is being exposed, the masses will understand the antecedents of some persons that have stated that they are representing us. Recall that Erufai, being the former governor of Kaduna State, had a fallout with Bola Metinimbo and the APC at large, of which even when you know they brought his name to the National Assembly for nomination as his minister, he was declined based on the fact of a lot of things that have occurred. And as a matter of fact, he has been exposed. I'm going to be showing you all that has happened to him and also how they have also, you know, exposed in Sumike's antecedents. You know, Sumike is only the politician that you cannot state that he is in PDP and he's also in APC because he is a PDP member. As a matter of fact, he contested the last presidential election primaries on PDP People's Democratic Party, where he was telling delegates that vote for me, you know, call me, let me go and take power from APC. But the same way Sumike, who is always bundling from one particular place to another his words are not accurate has now is no you know is falling up falling and dining and whining with apc and the people's democratic party cannot even suspend him down to the fact where he even gave them ultimate to me he even or you know warned them that they cannot and they they would never expel or even suspend him for anti-party activities you know, just recently as he has been exposed, you need to see the F-13 that Yinsumike is now using. Yinsumike, as the FCT minister, irrespective of the fact that he imposed Sim Fubara to the River State people and, you know, made an agreement with him. And Sim Fubara refused to place those agreements based on the priority of the masses, that the masses must come first, that the people's first, you know. And what Yinsumike could do was to send his loyalists, local government chairmen, and House of Assembly members to start working against the incumbent governor being similar to Fubara. And this has caused a whole lot of crisis, political crisis in the state. Now we stand and see Fubara has stood firm to even come to state it that some of the projects, some of the, you know, banded claim projects Yinsumike did in River State, they, he is still owing the, you know, contractors. That look at the amount of debt he left for him in the state. But he is bragging, stating that he did this, he did that, Mr. Project and all of that. Now he's in the FCT minister commissioning project under the APC administration. A lot of persons are also curious and stating that Yesu Mike will definitely disappoint Bola Metinimbu come 2027. That is when you will know that power enters the case. Now, before I begin to show you the exposure that you know that has been made on Yesu Mike through Sowere, who made a very clear exposure concerning why Yesu Mike brought in Sim Fubara and also how he fire being exposed. Let me leave you with what really happened recently. You know, Yesu Mike invited Bola Metinimbu to a function. To come and commission project and you need to see the what the the what Yinsumike did to permanent secretaries for them to come and take a bow on you know Bola Metinimbu just to show his impression and just to show his loyalty. Watch this video and see how you order them. We'll come back, we'll continue. So if you permit me, I don't know those beneficiaries, the permanent secretaries, I don't know where they are here. Come out, sorry, come out, come out. Yeah, the beneficiary, yeah, come out. You are supposed to be the agent of the new home and come out and come out. Uh -huh. Both women, both men, everyone. First year and take a bow before Mr. President. Uh, the lucky ones. Your Excellency, these are the first set of permanent secretaries that you made. Head of service, are you not the permanent secretary? And that is their head of service, Your Excellency. These are the technical tip down that we have. So I want to sincerely thank you. Now, most of them have been going to churches and mosques. They have been praying now that God should help them to be head of service. But it was not there before. For them to be head of service, it was not available. But now it has made it uh, available. I know some of their pastors uh, who have been praying for them. So I also told them that they should pray for me to, to recommend them to you. It's, it's, that is also very important. In fact, I, I don't want to talk politics now, but I do know it will be difficult. It will be difficult for anybody to challenge you in FCT. It will be very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. Well, I, I, dare, I dare say so, because um, the facts are there. The things are there. It's not about theory now. It's about the reality. You say you will do this. Have you done it? Yes. You say you will do this. Have you done it? Yes. So what are, what are we talking about again? So I sincerely thank you. And I want to plead with you. Sincerely speaking, Yesu Mike is a man with double coin. Look at how he is impressing Bola Metinimbu, his paymaster, just for 
his own interest. Now look at how he summoned the person, you know, permanent secretaries to bow before a human. Now you can now see what is happening, you know, and his posy has now been made on him. And recall, look at what he stated that he has he has seen that nobody can challenge Bola Metinimbu in FCT. That is to tell you he they know fully well that 2027 is coming. Well, that is what is happening. Now look at what exactly has exposed Erufai before I begin to show you what exposed Yesomike. Erufai has been exposed, as you could see on your screen. Kaduna Assembly recommends probe into 423 billion naira misappropriation by Erufai for abuse of office and money laundry. The Kaduna State House Assembly and ad hoc committee, which was set up to investigate the finances, loans, and contracts awarded. And this is a end one for Erufai because he's going to be going in for it. Now, let me leave you with what Sewere has to say about. Reason why Yesomike brought in Sim Fubara to reverse indigenous and residents, and what has really happened. Now, when we come back, we'll wrap up. There's something in River State that everybody goes to look at money. So you can collect your own. So, when you, when you have that kind of watches amassed over time, stolen, that is where Sim emerged from. Sim was made governor not because he's capable. He was handpicked by Wiki to cover up Wiki's atrocities in the state. Are you getting my point? And now that he is in possession of the sword, he's swinging it in a different direction. And the notion that Wiki is powerful is an over-exaggerated notion. Look at the way he was dismantled by Sim. You know, now they have to run to Tinubu, who supposedly is not a member of their party, yeah. to help them resolve. The yeah, Egypt is powerful. Why do you need an extra constitutional method to resolve the issue? People have walked away with these members of House and those people who resigned now. But the people who resigned also did not resign on the basis of principle. And they have realized that, oh my goodness, we are naked. So they also want to keep being part of it because the moment Sim gets his own people, but they will be driven out of the state. Just like we get drove a bitch out of town, a bitch drove. What was the former governor's name? All the way into Abuja. That's the nature of what they're doing there. Of course, what I feel bad for is how River State could have been turned into one of the best states in Nigeria because of the resources there, the climates, the weather, and the people. You know, it's a very, very vibrant and dynamic state. So, you do know that River State was created before Nigeria. Yes, I believe you have seen exactly what has happened and how Sowere has stated that Nyeso Wiki brought in Sim Fubara to cover up his sins that he committed and all what happened. And how has House Assembly members in Kaduna State are now about probing Erufai based on what he did while in office? React on the comment section. What is your take on what has just transpired? And don't forget to always share this video, like this video, and do it often. Hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when we drop more trending videos.